guys, this is Dodoid. So in my last video, we talked about the Silicon Graphics or SGI-02 workstation. And in the 1990s, that was a great machine. But at around the same time the O2 came out, if you wanted a really high performance graphics workstation, though the O2 was a great machine, you didn't buy it. You bought one of these. And they are really heavy. Somebody online said I could not lift it, just lifted it. So, um, today we're going to talk about the SGI or Silicon Graphics Octane, and um, let's get right into that. To spare you the boredom, I will just say that I'm pretty sure this machine was never sold as it is currently configured due to being a mix of parts not normally sold together, and after spending way too long reading parts lists, I've decided to call it $40,000. If you've seen my O2 video, you'll know that this makes the Octane almost three times as expensive. Like the O2, the Octane isn't a PC. Though configurations vary between a single 175MHz R10,000SC and dual 600MHz R14,000SCAs, my particular Octane is powered by two 360MHz R12,000A MIPS processors, a middle-of-the-road configuration that is seemingly common in hobbyist Octanes. Unlike the O2 built on the CRM chipset, the Octane uses a graphics card which takes up one of its XIO slots. The graphics cards are upgradable, and there are numerous models ranging from the low-end ESI, which is what my Octane use, to the high-end MXI graphics on the original Octane, and the V12 graphics on the Octane 2. The Octane uses its own RAM, which like the RAM in the O2 is not compatible with any other SGI machine. Even the video output is an odd connector called DB13W3, or simply 13W3. I don't have a 13W3 monitor, but the seller helpfully included an adapter to use VGA instead. It's important to note that like the Indigo, Onyx, and Origin, the Octane had a second version known as the Octane 2. Unlike the other machines, however, the Octane 2 is almost identical to the original Octane, both in appearance and in hardware. The Octane 2 replaced the Octane's impact graphics with a new system called VPro, unrelated to the Intel processor feature of the same name, and some of the newer MIPS processors were only available in the Octane 2, though both of these upgrades will work in an original Octane under certain scenarios, such as my original Octane, which is outfitted with dual 360MHz R12000A CPUs, an option which was seemingly exclusive to the Octane 2. Like the O2 and all other SGI products, the Octane was intended for large businesses and professionals with large budgets. I think the best way to sum up the Octane's intended use is with some clips from a late 90s SGI promotional video. So here they are. We don't have time to horse around. Uh, we don't have time to um, use toys instead of tools. We have to buy the best available tools for these people. And uh, every time we look, it comes out SGI. And we love Octane. It's very easy to use, and it's doing a lot to change the way we do business here. And it is years ahead of the competition. There's nobody else out there that has this tool available. As an engineer, we need high-performance workstations so we can run more iterations of analysis on larger models so we can optimize our design faster. Yeah, Steve Jobs actually promoted SGI during his time at Pixar. Like its lower-end cousin, the Octane runs SGI's own operating system, IRIX. I think this is a good time to point out that while Windows may come with Solitaire and OS X may have its 3D chess, IRIX's big included game is Doom. Apparently, this is the result of SGI lending id software developer Dave Taylor an SGI indie workstation for a short while, and SGI deciding to include his port on the standard IRIX applications CD. Being from the 1990s, SGI also made sure to include lots of software related to the web. The most interesting of these are CosmoCreate, SGI's attempt at a GUI website maker, and support for VRML, SGI's attempt to add simplistic 3D worlds to websites, though I wasn't able to make VRML work for me. Thanks to the large SGI community, a lot of modern software is also ported to IRIX and made available through an online repository known as Nakoware, which is best described as the app store for SGI computers. There's even an unofficial but very powerful script to automatically install dependencies for a certain program, known as Nakodeps. So, those are my thoughts on the SGI Octane. Ugh. If you'd like to see more SGI content and other computer-related content in the future, then please subscribe, as we're still a very, very small channel. So if you'd like to see Dodoid grow, then please do do that, and until next time, bye.